Hi, today we're going to see how to create dotted lines in Kim. So first I'm going to create a new image. So go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080. Press OK. Now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to change the color of this background layer. So I'm going to click on the background color. So I'm going to select this red color here. So this one here, and now press OK. And now I'm just going to drag the background color like this. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon here, press OK. Change the foreground color to white. Make sure to select the paintbrush tool. And now make sure the brush you're selecting is hardness 100 here. You can also increase the force. And for example, if I start painting here with the paintbrush tool, so as you can see, it's a normal line here. So Control Z to undo. You just need to increase the spacing. So I'm going to increase to 180. So here, if you left click and then drag, so here are they. And now Control Z. If you want to create a straight line with the paintbrush tool, keep the Control key and the Shift key down here. So left click first with the paintbrush tool, and then keep the Control key and the Shift key down. So here, as you can see, it will make a line here. And then if you left click, so here it is. And now I'm going to create another transparent layer, so click on this icon here. So press OK, and now I'm going to use the Paths tool for that. So I'm going to hide this straight line here. So select the Paths tool. So if you want to create straight line here with the Paths tool, so in order to make sure it's straight, just drag Guide here like this, and then go to View. Make sure here the Snap to Guides here is checked. And then left click here with the pass tool and then left click here so like this so as you can see it snaps here and then in order to stroke this path here you can either click here stroke path or go to edit so here you can either stroke path selection fill path fill selection outline so just choose the stroke path so for me i'm going to select the stroke path and then check the stroke with the paint tool so it will use the paint brush tool with the settings we used here to create these lines here make sure to uncheck the emulate brush dynamics and check it and select the paint brush here and the stroke with the paint tool and the stroke so here it is so i'm going to select another tool to remove the path so go to image guides here, remove all guides. You can also stroke selection here with these dotted lines here. So I'm going to create another layer. So here, press OK, fill it with transparency. I'm going to hide this one. So let's say I'm going to select the ellipse tool. So here, I'm going to make a circle here like this. So here it is, press enter, and now go to select, now sorry, go to edit, and then here, stroke selection, make sure the stroke with the paint tool here is checked here, and then the paint brush as before with the pass tool, the menu for the stroke selection and the stroke path here is the same, and then just click on stroke. So here it is, and now I'm going to remove this selection. So go to select none. So here it is. You can also create lines here with dashes. So I'm going to hide this one. I'm going to reveal second one. I'm just going to use this one here. So I'm going to select the path tool for that. So just left click here. So I'm going to make a curve here like this. So here it is. And now go to stroke path here, left click. And now instead of choosing the stroke with the paint tool, select stroke line here, and then here you can select the line width, and then here I'm going to move the window here like this. And now click on this plus here, line style. So as you can see, you can choose the cap style, join style. And here, as you can see, the dash preset. So you can select line, long dashes, medium dashes. You can also create custom dashes here. So here you can add, as you can see, so here. So 
for example I will select the normal dots here so I'm just going to click on stroke here so here it is and now I'm going to select another tool to remove the path here so here it is so that's the difference here between using the paintbrush here for example so here are the settings I'm using make sure the dynamics is one basic so here so I think that's it that's how we can create dotted lines in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time